Hello, good morning, good evening, everyone. Welcome to my blog, sfsupport247.com. Today, we are going to discuss about data versus data types and APIs. As you can see, data words contains database tables and views. Power apps and other power platform products or modules, such as power pages, power automate, they access data words to store and retrieve the data. There are other ways you can connect to the dataverse using SQL from the external sources also. The topic of this today's discussion is dataverse data types. So let's try to understand what are the different data types in the dataverse. There are broadly, we can classify it in two types, core data types and advanced data types. Let's get into the core data types. Text is one of the common data type. It's a single line text, multi-line text. Uh, we can uh, save that kind of information. Text is one data type. Number, we can store whole numbers, decimal, floating point numbers. Currency, it stores monetary values with support from multiple currencies. Date and time, we can store date only or date and time. And choice, a single choice or multi-level choice. It's like a combo box. You can think of these are all core data types in the dataverse. There are some advanced data types also, such as lookups. This lookup create a relationship between the tables, linking students to courses, order to customer. Those are the examples. Images we can store in the table. Like any other database, this dataverse also allows us to store the images, which are optimized to store this image, like pictures and product images. There is another data type called file, where we can store uploading files, there is a limit. For every the file data type, you can store 128 MB, okay? And calculated fields, automatically computes the value based on the fields in the same record. There are role of fields also that aggregates data from related records, like some we can specify the uh, column, other column names. Automatically, this role of field will uh, compute and aggregate the data. Auto number. This generates a unique identifier automatically. Accessing Dataverse data. Okay. Dataverse supports multiple methods to access and interact the data. Includes APIs also. So, Web API OData, uh, OData is an industry standard, right? You can use RESTful interfaces, REST APIs to connect to the Dataverse. You can use SDK APIs client libraries these are more specifically on the dotnet side if you are having a dotnet application you can use this sdk based apis to connect to the dataverse you can use job from the javascript also and custom apis define custom endpoints for specific business logic if you want you can define this custom apis also there is a con interesting concept called virtual table apis allows external data sources to appear as dataverse tables so this virtual tables, the concept is, it's not required to kind to copy the data. Assume that you have a Oracle database. In the Oracle database, you are having a HR uh, solution, right? From your data words application, you want to connect to the Oracle HR database. You can connect it using the APIs. No one need to copy the data. No duplication and ETL like extract, transform, load operation kind of way. The process is not required. We can directly use it using the virtual table APIs. Power platform integration. Power apps, as uh, initially I told, Power apps uses Dataverse as a default database. Power Automate also uses. Power BI is very in cleanly integrated with the Dataverse. We can access the Dataverse directly uh, using fetch XML queries, SQL endpoints using dataverse connectors in fact i used azure uh, data studio to connect to the data words also so there are different ways we can directly use the url to connect to the data words and low code no code platforms such as canvas app formulas data flow there is a language power query language that you can use to connect to the dataverse and get the information choosing the right access method so the, given there are so many different ways we can access this uh, dataverse, uh, there are uh, based on your use case, your application, we can select one of the best ways to access the dataverse. 
just to wrap it up data verse data types broadly there are two sections of data types one are one is a core data types and another is a advanced data type and there are different ways we can access them dataverse data thanks for tuning in if you have any questions uh, please uh, comment i will respond back i will keep this uh, url in the comments so that you can refer that also thank you bye